hey guys welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you that how you can create a query based user collection okay so why we need this uh, we can take an example that uh, in our organization that we have a sale manager or you in our uh, active directory domain controller so where we put all the sale manager users in that specific group so how we can track that uh, OU in the SCCM server okay so these are the steps which are going to perform so let's move that <clears throat> so first we need to log on to our DC so as I have already opened the Active Directory but if you want you can open a server manager or you can directly run the Active Directory from your domain admin okay so once Active Directory loaded you need to create a new OU I have already done that so I have a OU called Sale Manager so I have added a few users so you need to create or you can use your ex existing user okay so once you done with this you can close this and uh, switch back to your sccm server so when when you once you back to your sccm server you need to uh, open a server manager uh, configuration manager console uh, from this workspace area you need to click on asset and compliance then user collection so as of now i don't have any collection so just right click on user collection create a user collection name it then click on browse and select all the users ok click next from here select this option use incremental update for this collection so an incremental update periodically evaluate new resource and then add the resources that qualify to this collection this option does not require so you can schedule a full update for this collection okay then click on add rule query rule again name it okay uh, from here we need to enter the query statement if you don't uh, don't have any idea how to create just uh, click on edit query statement but resource classes is a user user resources then edit query statement okay uh, go to criteria click add creation value should be a simple okay from here where we need to select attribute should be a user resources uh, alias no alias or then we need to select the attribute so in this case we are going to use a user OU name okay click ok again ok and from here we need to choose the value when you click on value so you need to select that OU as I have a STP IN India and CL manager okay click ok then ok and this is the criteria okay now you can see we have a uh, query statement again click ok and next next and close so now you can see we have a query sale manager but we don't have any member count but we added the query and now we need to select the uh, collection and press F5 so now you can see we have a five members in this uh, OU so just double click and you can view that we have some user in the specific OU or oh, collection okay so guys in this way we can create a user based uh, user based query okay so thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye